I finally found a lug wrench that I like. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and I know this is not a technology video, but I make videos about kind of anything that I want to make videos about, which is the kind of the fun of YouTube. You can make whatever videos, and I make videos about different craft things that I do, different uh, Ryobi tools and other things kind of that I buy and everything else. And today, I found this. I've been looking for, you know, a good lug wrench, and... Um, so I looked on Amazon, right? Okay, so they've got this one that's, you know, kind of bonded together. And I'm like, it's got little rubber handles. I'm like, oh, okay. Some of the comments are, yeah, it falls apart really quick. Okay, well, I don't want that. And I've had one of these next ones, this one that has the little pieces that fold in in the side. And they're a pain. These things, these little, you're supposed to be able to take it and open it up and slide those little things onto the onto the side and uh, they never work and they just ends up being a complete total mess and you get your fingers pinched and everything else then there's like this classic one which is just like you know the square thing but that's always hard to you know where do you stick that right i mean that's you got to hang it on a wall you can't throw it in a trunk very easily if you got other stuff in there because it's big right so that's that wasn't any good so i found this collapsible, this Craftsman collapsible lug wrench. I'm like, well, that seems pretty good. So um, it's sold at Lowe's. So uh, it does collapse down to uh, just this one little, just the one main shaft and it comes apart. Um, so uh, I went to Lowe's and checked their app and they said they had none in stock. But when I went there and looked in the Craftsman tool area, they had three. So so much for inventory but anyway so here it is i mean it does look i haven't even taken it out of the package yet there's this red part here is of course the uh, one part of the shaft and then the other part is inside of that and we've got you know sockets on both ends so supposedly to open it up i think i need to just bend the back of it because it's got little ribs here that are cut so let's see we can get this to open up. It's not easy packaging. So then we'll need a knife, which I have a knife. Here's a knife. Okay. And we will just go right down the edge here. Actually, we're just gonna we're gonna do the plastic side. There we go. Always good. Right down there. Yeah. That's it. Okay. We're getting there. Okay. Roll this over. Missed a spot. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Package done. Okay, so the package on the back here says uh, collapsible design for convenient storage. Yes, that's good. Uh, adjustable handle position for increased speed or torque and half inch drive so I can use any of my other half inch sockets. So this socket comes off one end and then it slides out and it's got these little ball bearings in here that allow it to lock in specific positions inside the red part so i can take this push it through and now it's locked in the t position and i can put this socket on here now you've got a regular regular t you know to undo your wheels but if one of them is being kind of stubborn, I can pull this off. Let's push this all the way down and out. It's pretty heavily made, so I can take this and put it down here. It's because there's two little rivets down, bumps up down here. And now, whichever way I'm turning, I've got a lot of force that I can be turning trying to undo the uh, 
lug nuts off of the car. So, and it's close to the socket, so you're not gonna less likely to strip off the socket, you know, strip the end of it off or anything if it's if it's too tight. And then when you're done, of course, you just take it, slide it back in. Goes this way. There we go. Lock that. Put that there, and then boom, it throw goes in the toolbox really easy. So that's I like it. I've got um, I've got a silver uh, permanent marker and a black permanent marker. So what I'm going to do is we have uh, the Ford Mustang and we have the Kia Soul. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to whatever socket fits on whatever car I'll write next to it Kia or Mustang uh, right next to that socket so you're, when you pull it out you're like okay which one is it and trying four times to know which one it is because you're not going to remember but if I've written on it then I know which one to use right away that's very important labeling things just makes makes it all go so much easier so so that's it that's I mean it was 30 bucks and uh I mean, it's really heavy metal construction. I'm, I don't think it's going to bend or break or do anything like that. Um, it uh, all goes together pretty easily, and I really like that it's that it's not, you know, the T. It's it's you know very compact and able to be stored pretty easily anywhere I need to. Throw it in a toolbox. Throw it in a trunk. It's right there. Since it's got all the socket sizes, and if I had another odd socket size, or say I was trying to break something, I don't, you know, it was somewhere you didn't have a breaker bar, you just pull this off and, you know, use the half inch, you know, socket on here to use that to break something else off, you know, to, to help you to get some other uh, socket or lug or whatever you have that's bound up or something off. So, pretty nice uh, tool uh, next time I'll be using this probably when I rotate tires on the car I just had new tires put on the Kia and the Mustang has pretty new tires but um, once we get to going across the country and heading to Florida I want to make sure and have you know something if I need to change a tire um, the fiasco of uh, my wife was taking this tech show she was taking a trip with her dad and uh, every other every day for the first like three days they had a flat tire so this would have been handy if i was with them to be able to do that and just you know say hey i've got a tool we can take those things off we can handle that boom done kind of thing so yeah so not sponsored not anything i just find these tools and i can recommend them and say hey that works for me and maybe it'll work for you because it's nice and compact and everything else all right here you go well thanks for watching i got more videos and everything else coming up so have a good day take care